Hey, welcome to part two of the vintage uh, car seat restoration. Down here in the basement of my sewing area, and I've got my fabric. Very nice, heavy duty upholstery fabric. And what I'm doing here is I've printed this sheet out from the internet. This is a sheet that allows you to calculate uh, how big the materials have to be to make tuck and roll upholstery, which is that kind of upholstery that has channels on it. So I gotta do some calculations here to figure out exactly how to make it like the old piece. All right, I got my material marked out here. So since I'm doing tuck and roll, there's kind of a calculation that you have to do. You determine the width of your um, your pleats, plus you have to add a little to make them curved, and then you have to add this half inch line here where you fold it to sew it. And on the base material, the lines are a little bit closer together, and you'll see how this is all sewn together in a couple of seconds. All right, here we are at the sewing machine sewing our first pleat. So what you can see is, you take these fold lines here, I don't know if you can see that, you line them up like that, so you're sewing a quarter inch fold over, you line it up with that mark on the bottom piece, this is hard to do in tape at the same time, and you sew along there, and then you go on to the next one, and that's what gives you your, uh, your tuck and roll pleats. Okay, so you can see there, I just sewed that line, that's going to be the first pleat, there's the line of the second pleat and the full line there. It's going to go like that and it leaves a little bit of gap in there so you put your filler in there. So I just got to keep sewing. Keep going on this one. Okay, we got all the channels sewn here. So there's the back. That's just the muslin. Let me flip it over for you here. Hope I did this right. Here you can see the pleats. Each pleat, once it's stuffed with batting, should come out to four inches wide like the original. So I'm going to take it outside right now and compare it to the original and see if we've got it right. Okay, there you can see the old piece. The original, it is disgusting. It stinks. It's wet. Gross. Here's my new piece. And once it's stuffed, it'll shrink horizontally a little bit. And then it should be a perfect match. So then I can uh, put it on the frame. That's the end of part two. See you in part three.